Haggai is a book in the Bible when Judah went back to the promised land. The temple has been destroyed. The Jews have been in Babylon. They've been given permission by Cyrus to go back. Haggai 1.1 1, 1. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet unto Zerubbabel, the son of Shatiel, governor of Judah. Now he's not a king. There are no more kings in Judah. Jeremiah told us, oh, earth, 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 write this man child. The only king would be next is the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. And Joshua, the son of Justek, the high priest. Here's the high priest. Saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, the people say, the time is not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. So what God tells Haggai, you want to know what the people are saying? It's not time to build a house yet. We'll put it off. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet saying, is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in seed house, seal, uh, sealed houses? This house be a waste? It's time for you to build a house. It's time for you to live in a house. What about my house, the temple, God saying? My house lies in waste, destroyed by the Babylonians, the Chaldeans. But you got your house. They're sealed. Cedar. All kinds of wood. All kinds of decorations. You are living in a house. My house. It's called by my name. It's a waste. Violation of the first commandment. God is not first. They became first. Now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts of everything. Consider your ways. One of two times. Ye have so much. Plant a lot of seed. You bring in little. That's a violation. You know you think about. A seed of corn. And how much that brings forth? How much a seed of a tomato plant? And how many tomato plants it brings? How many tomatoes it brings? But you put a lot of seed out there. You didn't bring much in. You eat. But you have not enough. You drink, but you're not filled with drink. You have an appetite. You have a thirst. It's not enough. Because you haven't been thinking of God. You have not put God first. He clothed you. But there is none warm. He that earns wages, earns wages to put it into a bag of holes. Got a hole in my pocket. It's where the stretching comes from. Put your money in a pocket and it's not there. Thus saith the Lord of hosts of all things. Again, consider your ways. The trouble, the problem that you are in. 
because you have not put me, God, first. You're thinking of yourselves. Go up to the mountain. Bring wood. Build the house of the temple of the Lord. Not build. I will take pleasure in it. I will be glorified, saith the Lord, if you will start building my house. You look for much, and lo, it came little. And when you brought it home, I did blow upon it. Go on. Why? Say the Lord of hosts. Because my house that is waste. Ye run every man into his own house. You take care of yourself. You take care of your building. My building. Not there. As you're thinking about yourself. Therefore, the heaven over you is stayed from dew, the morning moisture, and the earth is stayed from its fruit. The fruit, the ground is not going to produce because you're selfish. I, God, call for a drought upon the land and upon the mountain, upon the corn, upon the new wine, upon the oil. Upon that which is bringeth forth, that the ground bringeth forth. Upon men, upon the cattle, upon all the labor of thy hand. Everything that involves you, the people of Judah, is not going to be blessed. Because the one that blesses you, you haven't thought about me. You haven't even taken care of my house. You're not going to be blessed. Then Zerubbabel, the son of Shatiel, Joshua, the son of Jezek, the high priest, and all the remnant of the people, that remnant is Israel. That's what remains. That's the survivor. Obey the voice of the Lord their God, Jehovah. In the words of Haggai the prophet, as the Lord their God had sent him, had finally listened to the prophet. And the people did fear before the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is good. Then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger to the Lord's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, saith the Lord. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shatiel, the governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Joseph, the high priest. And the spirit of all the remnant of the people, and they came and did the work of the house of the Lord of the host. Their God. Notice how it's their God. They got right. They did what they're supposed to. In the four and twentieth day of the sixth month, twenty-three days later, from Haggai 1-1, the second year, Diarist the king. 